got to take a look at this. This man wearing a suit on the right of your screen looks like any legitimate customer, but quite a few restaurants in San Francisco's Richmond District want police to stop the man they're calling the serial refund scammer. ABC 7 News reporter Alyssa Harrington is live in the Richmond with the story now. Alyssa. He's hit cafes and restaurants up and down Clement Street. Business owners are sick of it. They say he's a scammer and is trying to take advantage of their hardworking employees. He looks like a regular customer, but merchants in San Francisco's inner Richmond know him as the serial refund scammer. Surveillance video shows the man who calls himself Ali inside Nourish Cafe on Tuesday, demanding a refund for an order workers say he never bought. He had said he'd been in the day before when actually we had been closed that day. Co-owner Sarah Bacon says he could not produce a receipt and his story kept changing. When questioned, he got aggressive. She filed a police report and alerted the Clement Street Merchants Association, only to find out Ali has been at this for years and tried to pull the same trick at at least 13 other businesses. I mean, he's just a bully, so it, it made me angry that he treated my staff that way and that he felt like he could go around the city and do this to other businesses. Business owners say Ali always calls first, usually says there was a hair in his food, and then shows up in person. But he can never provide proof of purchase. His plan did not work at Pretty Please Bake Shop. The way that technology is, even that small mom and pops like us have tracking systems to be able to pull up transactions. But he did get a few free pizzas at Giorgio's before employees caught on. That's a medium pepperoni pizza. And it's always the name uh, Ali and uh, it's always the same problem. It's a burnt pizza. Merchants hope getting the word out prevents any other business from getting scammed. They want Ali to leave them alone. The Clement Street Merchants Association says employees should always ask for a receipt before giving a refund, and when in doubt, contact a manager. Live in San Francisco, Alyssa Harrington, ABC 7 News. All right, Alyssa, before you go, even though he's only hit San Francisco so far that we know of, there are lots of restaurant rows here in the Bay Area, so in other cities, are they thinking about contacting those other police departments? Well, police are just focusing on San Francisco. They're actually out along Clement Street and Geary Street right now interviewing some of those business owners trying to track this guy down. Larry, Kristen. All right, for now, right, Alyssa, thank you so much. And we do have breaking news now.